Hello people of YouTube, it's Borja here and today I'm here with another tutorial. Long time no see, I know, there hasn't been a video for a long time. I got caught in like a very bad downward spiral, lost my best friend to a car accident and I got sick for like over a week. But now I'm back with some, yeah, some more energy. So in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to get your hands on some plugins and how to install them. I will show you later on in another tutorial how I use the plugins. I think I'm going to do like one tutorial for each of them because I have like three of them to show you today. So let's start off with showing some of them off. Now here in the beginning, as you can see right here, I have a Twitch plugin. Um, I've used this for some of my AMVs, you've probably seen them, it's pretty popular. It's by Video Copilot. Uh, in this next clip. I added some uh, Universe Edge Glow of a plugin called Universe I installed yesterday and played around with some. And then here is a glitch transition also from Universe, the one I used yesterday. And then this last one has Shine on it. It's from Trap Code, also Red Giant that also does Universe. So yeah, I'm just gonna play this so you can see them in action. like this like turn it off and see what happens yeah it is even changed how to clip around but uh, I can remove the glow it becomes a lot darker for here this one as well look all the glow goes on the edges this glitch effect I can really turn it off but let's go with over here and remove the shine it does quite a lot and it makes it look like more shiny and stuff but anyway how do you get a hand of on these plugins then i've pre-downloaded some stuff right here this is video copilot twitch and this is trap code suite with all the different trap code plugins i've got a link down below to these and also my utor and tutorials you can download them but then there then the, it comes to like installing the plugin some plugins you just copy paste for example with twitch you just copy and paste it in in the folders but then for the trap code suite you need to install stuff also with universe uh, you need to install stuff but if you don't want to go with those links uh, you can go with like the more legal version <laughs> go to like red giants universe red giants website universe 2 go with free trial just like yeah windows make an account log in and then download the stuff and install it like I'm gonna show you. You can also go like Video Copilot. They have a bunch of stuff. Down here, for example, is Twitch, if you wanna go with that. But how do you install them then? As I said, there's a kind of difference, but the main thing you need to take out of this is it needs to be in the right folder to work. So for the Twitch, uh, how to install Twitch, you just download this, open up the WinRAR folder, you go to Twitch plugins, Twitch plugin, you grab this one and you also want to grab this one, the AE key. And then you go to the right folder. I'm gonna link all the folders on the screen right now and in the description so you can see where it needs to go. But basically the default path is C, program files, Adobe, and then After Effects or Premiere Pro. I'm gonna show you for After Effects first. Support files, plugins, and in here you need to put it somewhere. For example, you can say see Red Giant Universe Trap Code, the ones I already talked about. They're all there. And if I go to into effects over here, you have Twitch in a folder of its own, and those two files I just said. So grab AE key and the plugin in itself, and you just paste it in in this folder um, yeah to get it in After Effects but then if we go back in Premiere Pro you just go Premiere Pro 
and plugins. And then you have like the different stuff, usually it's common. And if I scroll all the way down here, you have the Twitch and the AE key. But sometimes when you do the install, for example, if you go with the trap code suite, you need, you're installing it on the PC. It's not just like you copy paste it, you in, install it like a program. Then it usually ends up in here. With, in the default Adobe, you have common plugins. And then this is kind of weird. It decides on a version on itself. I don't know why, because most of the things I've installed goes to 7.0 media, media core. Then you have like this, the Red Giant Universe and the Tweak Story. It's another plugin I have. And this didn't work for me. So I just grabbed the folder and then I go back to the version I use, which is CS6. And then just pasted it in here and it worked. So I'm going to put this link as well to where you have it. So it needs to be in one of these three folders. Basically, it's the plugins folders for everything. Uh, and then when you've pasted it in and installed, you sometimes, well, you always need to restart Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects, and sometimes if you, restart, you need to restart your PC. But yeah, that's that's not a big deal. Uh, and then if you have Premiere Pro or After Effects installed anywhere else but the default folder, uh, my recommendation would be to install the program to that folder basically the plugin folder, as I showed you earlier, or install it as default and then do as I did, go in, find it where it's installed, copy it and then paste it to the right folder. So if you don't have it in the default folder from the, be from the beginning, it can be kind of tricky since these programs usually want to install it to the default folder. I had problems with my earlier PCs when I didn't have it installed in the right one. But uh, you just have to go in, find it, copy, paste it to the right one, and you should be good. Sorry if it does not work, I can't help everybody with it, but you need to figure it out on your own. But yeah, that's how you install the different plugins. And as I said, I'm going to show you later on how to use them, since they can be kind of advanced. This is just the transition, you put it on the clip like everything else. So it's pretty easy to use. Uh, the shine is also pretty easy to use it looks kind of cool though so yeah i'm going to show you those in a later time but this has been a tutorial how to get plugins and how to install them and i will see you in the next